Top Picks is brought to you by Quest Trade, where you can trade stocks from one cent and buy ETFs for free. David's first top pick is Texas Instruments. So, uh, as I mentioned off the top, we invest in themes, leadership themes, and one of our key themes is the Internet of Things. Uh, virtually everything is being becoming connected to the Internet from your refrigerator to your car. Uh, Texas Instruments makes very specific uh, semiconductor chips that are often designed specifically for a customer, have a very long life, and have pretty good margin. Uh, and they go into everything, uh, including cars. So, for instance, auto is 15% of Texas Instruments sales. Um, but the content likely over the next five years of semiconductors in cars will double hmm. uh, as they have much more uh, uh, sophisticated entertainment systems and, of course, automated driving. So there's one example. And so if you believe that the Internet of Things is going to continue on the path that it's on and maybe even accelerate, then Texas Instruments is a great way to play into that theme uh, as they have a very broad, diversified set of clients uh, that, are, that are buying a broad array of semiconductors from them. Okay, you have another technical name for or technology name, or Claro. Okay, so let me let me frame this. First of all, small and mid-sized companies are now outperforming large-sized companies in this market. Um, we believe we're in a new, longer-term bull market for equities. So, as I say to our analysts, uh, the Cisco's and Microsofts of the last bull market are out there already. They're just not well known. Uh, and so if you believe that we could have a long run-up, then you want to be looking at some smaller and mid-sized companies, understanding that they are higher risk, mm -hmm. understanding you need to sell some of them, some of them won't work out, some of them really will. Well, Claro is a company that makes uh, optical components such as transmitters that are being used in fiber optic networks. And we know that as the growth in data is exploding, uh, companies like Verizon and so on are having to upgrade their networks so they can push a lot more information through. So they are starting to upgrade from what they call 40 gig networks, 40 gigabyte networks per second, to 100 gigabyte. And there's a huge rollout that has to take place. So Claro sells components into these companies. And so to give you an idea, their revenue in the most recent quarter in their 100 gig products were up 135%. Uh, and this can go on, it has runway, because there's going to be a long upgrade cycle. So this is one way of doing it. You can own lots of small companies by owning ETFs that's specific in this group. Uh, PSCT is small and mid-cap technology companies, but Oclera is a, Oclero is a rifle shot company with a defendable uh, product uh, and a long life cycle in front of it. And finally, Seven Generations Energy, uh, a gas company that's done pretty well since yeah, its IPO. Yeah. So, so I think most people know we've been pretty cautious overall in energy. Uh, over, well, since 2014, we added some energy exposure in February, March of this year. Uh, we like to try and find the companies <clears throat> that are able to get through a really tough market intact in a strong position and able to take advantage of it. Seven Gen, a very low cost finders and lifters of gas. They bought uh, Paramount, and of course they've had great for assets, success, for Paramount. assets yeah, yeah, for Paramount, yeah, yeah. and they've had great success in taking those properties uh, and, and adding you know, significant low cost production. Uh, we're really impressed with the management group. Stock's hitting a new high, it's well financed. Uh, and it's a $10 billion company. It's mm. not a small cap, it's one that all the major institutions we think are going to need to own. And then, frankly, from a, from a natural gas perspective, uh, whether this summer drew down a lot of gas and there's going to be, looks like a warm fall, and then you head into winter. And so we think that the near-term outlook for natural gas is pretty attractive. Certainly, they're injecting very small amounts into storage right, right now, which is That's a bullish right. uh, a part of it. Thanks so much, David. D David Burrows, one of our regulars, one of our stalwarts on Market Call. Uh, our thanks to him. The encore of our show airs Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. Market Call tonight is at 6 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for watching. We're back tomorrow.